This one is inspired by Goldberg. Today's challenge is the shaving a balloon speed run. I first saw this when I was a kid in the movie Heavyweights. Now this speed run isn't on speedrun.com and I haven't been able to find much documentation for it online. So we're going to use clips from the movie and sort of extract the rules from the clips. So here's the bad guys doing the challenge. This is a 9 inch balloon. I bought this because I thought it was roughly head size. I thought it would be a good model, but it looks far too small for what they're using in the clip. So this was a 9. This is a 12 inch balloon. It's much bigger. Bigger than a head. Not big enough to have that light bulb shape at the end, but it looks pretty big in my opinion. Maybe slightly smaller than what they have in the movie. But they were little kids, so things are going to look bigger for them. I don't know what the next size up is, maybe 15 or so, that's probably too big. So we're going to go with the 12 inch balloon. Next we have shaving cream. There's no indication at all of what type they're using. I'm going to use my personal brand of shaving cream, and that's Kiss My Face brand. I guess it's not my personal brand, but this is what I use. Uh, a couple things I want to point out about it is that even though it says moisture shave, it's not moisturizer. Some upset people in the Amazon reviews about that. Their small bottle is 11 ounces big. It's vegan and cruelty free. But what I like most about it is that it's four in one. I'm a big fan of shoving as many things into one as possible. So that's what we're going with. It doesn't show how the shaving cream should be applied, so I don't think it matters. I'm going with what I usually use again. Uh, note that when that guy did pop his balloon, he was given a pre-shaving creamed replacement. So applying the shaving cream, not part of the time. And obviously I'm gonna do mine in one take. I'll just restart the run if I pop the balloon. For the razor, they're not doing cartridges or safety razors. The old fashioned straight bait razor. This again is mine, it takes Single use blades, I got some derby blades in it, and that's what we'll be doing. I will be putting the blade in it. It'll be difficult for you to tell, so you'll just have to trust me that there's a blade in here. Um, and I'm just not gonna pop the balloon because I'm really good, but there's definitely going to be a blade in here. I can't stress that enough, that there will be a blade in this. The one thing I want to address is I did just look back at the clip and I see that they quite obviously have cans of shaving cream there. So they're not doing it this way, they used a can. And I've never used a can, so we're just going to ignore that and do it this way. So I'm going to go for a real thick lather. How much water you add to it really changes how lathery your shaving cream is. I think I even have too much water, but something real thick like this. It's not going to create a lot of bubbles. I think this more closely resembles a can, but I don't know, I don't use that. Real thick lather. Now one thing I did notice right around this time was that how am I going to hold this to shave it? My hands are going to get covered in gunk. Um, whereas when he, Goldberg, was obviously not covered in gunk, so that's a little suspicious. Also, this is not covering very well. Alright, here's my creamed balloon. This will be my first practice run. He was doing it like this. I don't really shave like this. Usually I shave like this. So I was thinking of maybe doing it like that. I don't know. I don't know which way the grain goes on a balloon. I kind of want to go up with it, which is not my normal shaving style, but sure, let's try. Well, that didn't do anything. We're 
just going to flip from left to right. You can't really do that. It is a little grabby. Show you my progress. It is being shaved. Can you even see the shaving cream on this? Alright. I'm going to keep practicing. I am going to use a black balloon for the actual run. But it seems pretty, pretty easy. Might go with a, a thinner lather actually. More bubbles might show up better. Okay, practice balloon done. What I've learned is first I need to go all the way around and clear myself a good handhold at the bottom. Holding it like this is just not firm enough. I get a good grasp and then all the way around like this. I need a rag to wipe the blade off on. I tested using water but that makes it super sticky. And just do consistent like rings all the way up. I like to go in one big stripe but I need to do rings for the balloon. To prove that I did do that with a blade and therefore there will definitely be a blade on the next run. Now I don't need to prove that again, right? There's a blade in here. Hopefully that's more obvious. The, the wetter lather is definitely going on easier. The other one's pretty sticky. Okay, one lathered balloon, one razor blade that definitely has a blade in it. Three, two, one, shave the balloon. Definitely hard to start. That side is done-ish. I will pick up the pace coming up, trust me. If I could just spin it, I feel like I could almost grip what's there. Okay, that's the bottom work. Do I can I get a grip? Not really, but we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Sure there's no funny business. Try to also get it in the camera. I'm holding it so gently, it's like a wounded. Tip number two in a minute. So here's the thing that I've conveniently just realized about world records. It's that when somebody sets one in a new category, nobody really knows how good it is. It's not until someone can beat it and then they take it back or no one can beat it is when you find out how good it really is. And if no one beats it, was it actually good or is just no one trying? So, since this is not yet on speedrun.com, I feel like it's more important for me to just complete a run than it is to do it as quick as possible. It just makes logical sense, right? I think you've seen every edge of the balloon now. Fully shaved, unshaved balloon. Three, two, one, go. I did inflate this one a little bit more. So it has a little bit of a, a change of concave to convex angles, possibly the opposite, down at the bottom, which I originally said I wanted I'm now thinking it makes it both more difficult to hold as well as to shave. So I kind of regret that, but what's done is done. I have my handle now. See if I can protect the blade. We're going to go all the way from the top and all the way down, like I said, in strokes. Because this is the way that I shave. You will see I'm cleaning a little bit with my knuckle on my second finger, my middle finger. That is the way that I shave my head. I use that as a guide to 
keep the pressure consistent. I run my knuckle along it. You'll notice that I put a lot of extra cream on the blade that time. That's okay. I'm cleaning off the actual sharp area, the face of it, the rest of the head of the blade does not matter. I'm trying to avoid adjusting my hand because that is when terrible things happened last time. I do wish I was going the other direction again. I like to go backwards, so we're going to spin it once again. Goldberg did do a little sassy whistle as he worked on it. I don't think he was fully respecting the competition and that his team was losing at that moment. So I will re remain focused and not try to give off a lackadaisical air. Missed a little bit here up at the top. Very similar to my own head, I have your cowlick up at the top, I usually just save that area for last and go from multiple angles at it. I don't usually do this technique, hold the head upside down and shave it, but it's working pretty well. Final strokes. Not exactly final. More clean up at the head. Oh my gosh. Ten time. There's a little bit of cream left, but I mean that's been fully shaved. Absolutely. Um, I'm not going to pop this one because it was really loud and aggressive. Uh, we're just going to end it there. Challenge complete, world record.